We have indeed, everyone. Look at these elephants have just decided to get in and start swimming and playing. Oh, this, <laughs> this is my absolute favorite. I love this so much. Oh, that looks looks like so much fun. These Ellie's there are a few to the side too that haven't decided to get into the water. But um, but those two, they look like young males. I didn't get a good look at them. It looked like two young males that have decided to go into the dam and start swimming and playing. It's amazing how the elephants love the water so much. Oh, this is really, really wonderful. Um, now we've been fortunate. We've seen um, we've seen a few elephants coming and swimming in Chitwa Chitwa Dam. That's always wonderful to come out and see if there are animals down here. Oh, Casual Fox, <laughs> you say it's a pool party. It is indeed. It is indeed. And I'm so happy that um, that we're getting to see them play and and swim like this and splash around and you see how they push one another it must be you know do animals have fun i'm sure they do have a look at that <laughs> oh, that is really fantastic in parts of Africa uh, not really down here where we are but um, but in parts of Africa like in Botswana and that especially up Zambia side um, with the big rivers elephants do need to cross them and they can swim really well they'll lift their trunks above the water to breathe and they'll swim from one side of the river to the other to get uh, into areas of good food but it's amazing how well the elephants can actually swim and they do enjoy water a lot see how playful they get and Julie you were saying this is terrific and fantastic it is indeed Julie all right now chitty chatty Meg uh, you just asked uh, the, the question about what I what I was mentioning and about if elephants can actually swim they can Meg they can indeed um, and like I said in parts of of Africa when they've got to cross uh, across big rivers they can swim they'll stick their trunks above the water and they and um, they'll swim from one side of a river to the other if they have to but doesn't that look like fun and i'm sure because it's so dry at the moment the elephant probably enjoy being in the water um, because it's not it's not overly hot at all but it's just uh just a way I think to get rid of a lot of the dust and that on them <laughs> Jacqueline you said you could watch elephant pool parties all day <laughs> I, I agree I could just watch elephant all day it's always lovely to see them a lot going on around here now sparkle um you wanted to know when the baby elephants learn to swim well i'm not sure if there's an or what the age is you can see in that herd there's some young elephant now the young elephant will also go and play in the water from time to time um oh listen to that <laughs> look at them splat <laughs> one looks like it's just sitting down in the, <laughs> in the in the dam and so sparkle I'm not sure when those young elephant really learn to swim properly <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at that that's amazing um, but I'm sure, I think from an early age you know the, the adults also look after those youngsters and they'll kind of push them along or help them if they need to I don't know at what age they really started. I mean, I would assume three or four years old, they'd probably be able to swim already.
yeah, Vicky. So that that uh, your questions. Basically, what I what I'm saying, I think, is that the elephants will get their young across the dams, or I mean, the rivers, and that, just by helping helping them along. Or some of those young elephant, I'm I'm sure from a young age they can swim already, um, to an extent. But like I said, the adults will help the youngsters. We've seen that many times in dams, in water holes. If uh, if the youngsters are struggling in the water, the adults always come and help them. So they would be able to swim to an extent. <laughs> A lovely little trumpet there. I wonder if that wasn't from one of the younger ones. Isn't this special? This is really, really great. What a great way to spend the afternoon. Xavier Devon, you asked if the hippo would stand their ground against the elephant. No, not at all. <laughs> the elephant, you know, out here size does matter. Um, the elephants will be able to chase, chase the hippo away, most definitely. But the, the hippo don't feel threatened by the elephant. The hippo will just move out the way and let the elephant have their fun and bathe and, and play around in the water. You'll see that hippo don't bother them. There seem to be one or two more coming out of the out of the thickets. Oh, these two are having so much fun in the water. Hello Sophia. Uh, Sophia, you six years old and you wanted to know if these elephants are brothers. So Sophia, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's a possibility that they are. Um, maybe, maybe they haven't got the same mother. Maybe they've got um, different mothers. Um, they were born into the same herd. Um, so they're possibly related. Maybe the same father. I'm not sure Sophia. But, um, but I think so. Taneke, you asked if crocodiles are afraid of elephants. Now that's an... I'll tell you why. It's because... that they are um, maybe maybe they haven't got the same mother maybe they've got um, different mothers um, they were born into the same herd um, so they're possibly related maybe the same father I'm not sure Sophia but um, but I think so Taneke, you asked if crocodiles are afraid of elephants. Now that's an interesting question. I'll tell you why. It's because generally, um, I think a crocodile would prefer to move out of the way of elephant if they're on the land. However, however, when they're in the water, now I've seen this before in certain parts of Africa, where elephants crossing rivers constantly and that, there's some big crocodiles that will take a chance and they actually go and they'll... they'll um, <sighs> I wouldn't say actively try and hunt the elephant but they they've bitten off a few tails and um, before they've bitten a trunk or two they definitely definitely take their chances now there was actually a, um, a video clip recently in Botswana herd of elephant went down to drink and the one elephant had its trunk in the water and the next thing this crocodile came and, and snapped at it and grabbed the trunk this elephant lifted the crocodile right out of the water flung it around a bit and eventually the crocodile let go but it just shows you that anything that goes down to the water or to drink is potential food for a crocodile um, they they actually not afraid of anything 
so it is amazing to see but um, but I think in general Teneke generally crocodiles would try and avoid elephant because they are so big and powerful <laughs> now, now more of them are joining in the fun some of the youngsters there you see there just uh, some <laughs> youngsters swimming <laughs> This is so wonderful. Seb, our elephant wish came true. Wow. Eh? Can't, get better. can't get better than exactly. that. Exactly, can't get better than this, you're right. Kate, elephants are definitely one of my favorites. Uh, it's between the elephant and the honey badger. Um, I love honey badgers, but you just don't see them often. So I wonder if I, uh, I wonder if I actually need to change and put honey badger second and elephant first. Nah, I can't do that, I can't do that. Elephant are a very close second favorite. But when they are so playful and we have sightings like this, Look at that! <laughs> it's kind of like me when I jump in the pool. <laughs> Splashing around. <laughs> it looks like so much fun. Oh look, there's a, another vehicle that I've just, just come in to enjoy and appreciate the elephant swimming. It's great. Chrissy, you, you know what? You, your question's interesting. You know, if elephant, if animals like elephants get the concept of fun. Um, now, Chrissy, I always, I always say, um, and some people don't necessarily agree with me at times, but, but I, you know, I think we've always got to be careful of, of, um, anthropomorphizing animals, so that, that's giving them human emotions. To, to an extent I definitely think animals feel and experience certain things but but if it's on the level that we imagine and, and picture things and feel things I don't think so I, I don't think so but but something like this I think is more a case of social behavior um, and and strengthening bonds within the herd and a case of enjoyment yes definitely I don't know if it's a case of fun like we would perceive fun but um, but there's definitely a, a, a bond going on here between the herd and playfulness all animals I think can be playful I and mean, if you look at young lion or leopard cubs they are very playful if you look at um, Impala um, very recently in a part of the Kalahari I was I was in, we saw springbuck. Now we don't get springbuck here, but springbuck do the social behavior called pronking, where they bounce and they spring all over the show. And um, and that looks like fun. And it's, it's interesting to watch when one will start and then a whole bunch of them do it and they jump around together. It is social behavior. It's a way of them showing they're fit and healthy, but it's potentially bonding and, you know, what, what we would consider fun, I suppose. But... I don't think it's to the level that we perceive it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Carly, I wonder, you're saying they must feel so weightless in the water. I, I wonder, they must do. I mean, they must do. Um, much, much lighter, I suppose, <laughs> in the water, and being able to swim and play. But, but I mean, look how are they still powerful. If you uh, earlier we saw that one splashing and thrashing around in the water, and you can actually see that one doing it too. You said 
you said that <laughs> you said you're sure these elephant are feeling joy and I do think so I do think I am they are having much enjoyment <laughs> this is really a privilege to watch and and to see and spend time with these animals wow listen to that echo of that trumpet well, I am definitely in my happy place right now this is uh, a, such a great great way to spend an afternoon I really are so fortunate to be out here and experience this And I'm so happy that all of you are able to enjoy this with us because it's it's really special. It gives you an idea of, of what we what we watch and find on safari. Sometimes, sometimes it takes a lot of patience, but every now and then you get something like this, a special sighting like this. Look at those elephants jumping on one another, or not quite jumping, but leaning on one another. lovely lori um you asked if the water's cold or warm so i think this water is probably quite quite chilly at the moment i don't think it would be too warm however however it's not nearly as cold as the rest of south africa would be and the water is probably quite pleasant i know certain times of of the year in winter when we go up to the bush on holiday um we'll still swim um because the days are lovely days are very very nice but, uh, but this water temperature will be much cooler obviously than it is in the summer look at all those youngsters in and amongst the adults there you see and this is also a way for the young to learn how to swim so we were chatting about that earlier when at uh, what age will the young be able to swim oh, to the monitors running where was it the to monitors Oh, there are the monitors yeah. chasing one another. Yeah, yeah. well spotted. There are two monitor lizards just in the foreground. Look at that. There's one there, and one was chasing the other one. Those are two water monitors. <laughs> and that elephant looks like he was upset with monitor lizards, perhaps. <laughs> That's amazing. You see, there goes the other monitor lizard. It was chasing the one and now they've both decided maybe we should leave the <laughs> leave this area near the elephant it's so, so funny how elephants pick up on little creatures like monitor lizards and, and they don't tolerate them at all look yeah I think he's chasing another one or chasing a bird now young boisterous bull let's see if he goes back into the water he's chasing a bird he's chasing a, a, what I think is a a little um, three-banded plover that's what it looked like and that flew away from him and there's this yeah it's three-banded plovers and there is also blacksmith plovers on the ground there and that's what he was chasing I don't know why maybe he's just being being difficult he's being naughty he's being, naughty. He's being a Typical teenager, yeah. That's it. Spot on, Seb, spot on. Look at him go. He's <laughs> exquisite bliss. And you say the elephant said, Scram, get away. Yeah, exactly. And if you notice, no one's going to argue with that big elephant, even though he's a young bull. But look how he just back into the water joining the herd and look <laughs> he's splashing around this is really really wonderful wow our beard you 100% correct the elephants are 
aware of smaller things you say a, a lot more aware than you thought they would be you know, definitely the elephants are still alert and aware of what's going on around them and especially the smaller things like the birds monitor lizards it's amazing and and I don't know why they would want to chase them away other than perhaps it's playful behavior um, but elephants don't like a lot of animals getting too close to them they'll often chase them antelope or um, I've seen I mean I've seen them chasing buffalo I've seen them chasing um, rhino I've seen elephants chasing lions obviously when their predators around the elephants pick up on the scent they don't like predators leopards lions wild dog um, hyena elephants will definitely chase them Another wonderful echo of the trumpet. Now, little Sophia, you want to know how old these elephants are. So, Sophia, there's a few different ages here. The really young elephants that we saw earlier, it's probably about probably about two years old and if we look at that frame there now that little one um, that's probably about three years old three four years old I would say it's always difficult Sophia to to gauge exactly how old the animals are some of those other elephants I would say are um, between 18 and 25 probably and some of the bigger females that moved out now are maybe a little bit older So they're still young, I suppose, Sophia, compared to some of the big old elephant that we see. Now Mia, also six years old, now Mia, baby elephant, when they are born, they're actually quite big. Um, I'm just trying to think of the weight. Um, oh dear, I think it's close to 100 or 120 kilograms. A little one, little elephant, not so little elephant. Mm, yep. Again, it's always nice when you get the numbers right, eh, Seb? Mm -hmm. It's about 100 or 120 kilograms for a young elephant calf when it is born. Um, so that's quite big. Yeah, that's. Um, I mean, that's that's heavier than me. So to give you an idea, that's very very big. A very big calf for an elephant. Um, even though they look very small, um, if you get right up close to them, they're quite big. They're big little big. Does that make sense? Big little animals. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what, everyone. It looks like the guys are on fire this afternoon. Um, I might sit around with these elephants a little bit longer. My main man Tristan has found something special for you.